there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we're going to draw this cute little elephant. It was suggested by Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. So we're going to start with the head of our elephant. The head is a nice big circle. So you're going to start and make it a fairly big one because we want to have a big picture. If you need to have trace a circle, you can, but do the best you can and draw a circle. All right, and we're doing it in pencil first because we have to do some erasing. All right, now we've done that, we're going to make a trunk. So my trunk is going to, I'm using the marker, my trunk is going to start about this far up and I'm going to do a nice little curve like that. Don't go down too far here and another little curve to the side and then you're going to put an oval on the end with two little nostrils then we can put some lines across the trunk like this all right the next thing we're going to do is some tusks so we've still not done the head and marker so out of this side i'm going to make a triangle that goes over my pencil line of my head and one on this side over the pencil line of my head. <clears throat> now that you've done those two things, we can put the rest of our head in. So without going over my trunk or over my tusks, I'm going to draw the circle for the shape of my head. If you're doing this totally in pencil, you would just erase some of the pencil lines. And there we have our trunk and our tusks. Now we're going to put in nice two big eyes, one above that tusk and one above this tusk. We're going to give them eyelashes, one, two, three. Then I'd like you to put a line here on both of the eyes and another line. Add a little circle right here, a circle right here, and we're going to color these in. All right, I've colored my eyes in. We're also going to give three lines here, one big one, a medium, and a small. We're ready to do the body. Right under here, if you happen to have a longer trunk, you're gonna go below whatever trunk you have. I want you to make a little smiley face. Like that okay then we're going to come down this is the inside of the leg you're going to make two lines fairly close together down like that and then on the other side of my tusks I'm going to make his body you can make him as fat as you want so you're going to come out here and make a nice big circle around and you're going to end the same distance here that you did over here. Other side of your tusk, come down, nice fat body. And then we're going to attach these together. I'm not going to go straight, I'm going to go down a little bit in a curve and that gives the bottom of the feet. We don't see his back feet, we only see the front feet. Now we want to give him some toenails. You want to start with your middle one on each of your feet and then you can put in the two side ones that way you know you have the right distance or the right space to do them all right and now we're ready for the ears <clears throat> so my first ear is going to come up here and way up all the way down and you're going to come in to this part of the body right there see how it matched up same thing on the other side. Come up, try to make it as even as possible. Come down and you're going to come up to that section there. And then I'm going to just do another line here that matches, but I'm going to stop. Another line here that matches and stop. All right, let's take a look at our colored picture. So here's my colored picture. Notice I've made some nice colorful toenails. I don't care if they're perfectly like a regular elephant. 
I've given him pretty eyes. Notice what I did on my ears. I gave him a little bit of pink up here. And then I actually chose to color my elephant purple. I've used pencil crayon. You can use whatever you would like. Would love to see these on Messenger, Facebook, or send them on Remind. Thank you, Hunter, again, once again for this suggestion. Have fun. Bye.